6.7, Facebook, YouTube, the World Wide Web. I want to welcome you all to Primal Sports Center. I'm your host, Dale. And I'm Kane the Schwab Watson. And we do want to apologize for missing last week's show yes. as we were all busy <laughs> yes. competing in the national championships. Table <laughs> tennis. Some in different capacities. Some are coaches, some are players, some are spectators, yeah. some are organizers. Yes. But we're all <laughs> participating in the National Table Tennis Championship that concluded last week. So sorry for the absence last week. Mm. So I mean, you know, it's a we, good cause, right? Yeah, we look forward to <laughs> doing the show and you look forward to listening to our show. So again, want to big up all the listeners out there because without you, the show wouldn't be possible. So we're back on track and, you know, we're finishing last quarter of the year strong. Yeah. You know, sports are always going on and we always look forward to things on the horizon and, you know, things that sports are always playing, as I said. So on a slate today, we'll talk about the table tennis. Of course, we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about our, the, the national championship mm -hmm. and also the national champion. Yeah, right. You we'll know, talk about track and field <laughs> later on. Yes. Some tennis, because we missed out on the US Open that concluded last weekend as well. And, you know, I mean, football, we have to talk football. Yeah. Football is peaking, not only here in Jamaica, where we see the local football, where you have Manning Cup and the Premier League, and also the regular boys playing. So that will be a run up of our show. But we kick things off, Dale, as Dale said. Yeah. The National Table Tennis Championships that concluded last week at the yeah. Indoor Center. 2024. 2024. And you know, we have, we have the winner right here in studio, you know. We I have think one of the events, the premier event. The premier event. Yeah. Um, national champion, Kane Watson, people, people. I'm sorry, I can't ask you to put your hands together for your host and also your, your national champion for 2024. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the return of the king, yeah, as, the as, oh. I, 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 as, as all they have it. The yeah. return of the king, you know, you, this is your fifth title. And I, and I will say that you're tied for the most title in the modern day era mm -hmm. of table tennis here in Jamaica with Simon Tomlinson. Yeah. So you, you're, you're one, you're now in the record books. Yeah. And um, I know you still, you still have more years going. You, you returned this year after, after one year, one year absence? One year absence. One year absence. So now you're back. Now tell the people how you feel, you know? Um, after that one year absence and you're back into competition and and bringing it home, yeah, you know, bringing mean, it home right here to Primal. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> I mean, when you, when, you, when you look at it, or yeah. when, when I look at it, yeah. I mean, I didn't really picture myself in this position. As I said, I had a short stint of retirement, but now I'm back. Um, I still have little left in the tank as, as the results produced, but I mean, overall, <clears throat> winning a national championship isn't easy. Even though I've won five, yeah. I've been to nine finals. Yes. So I won five, I lost four finals. And I mean, I've been to nine straight finals. The last nine times I played this tournament, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been to the finals. Some I missed out, I missed out on two, two years it didn't keep. So from my first championships, 2011, mm -hmm. I mean, where I had a tough battle. Yeah. With none other than my, another co-host, Peter mm -hmm. Moyan. Controversial now, one. <laughs> controversial one. No, fast forward to 2024, lifting my fifth title. And I mean, it wasn't easy. Some people yeah. uh, had me as the favorite seen based on my experience and I mean overall winning in the past having a lot of championships but I mean each championship has its own merit mm -hmm. and has its own challenges I faced a lot of challenges I overcame these challenges I mean the finals was I mean yes topsy-turvy I would I jumped out to a three love lead again I mean I don't know why I always I mean try to make it dramatic as my first final I was up you know I was up three love in my first final yes against yes. Peter country of us yes and he came storming back three two yes and that six set i had to pull it up if i didn't pull it, up that, was it those or it was 11 nine, nine. Was 11 nine. Nine. yeah nine. i think i remember yeah. i remember yeah 11 i remember why, 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 <laughs> YMCA. Why, YMCA. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that, i mean i was up three love and then i don't know peter just said all right fight back baby <laughs> but then, i mean i held off in the end and i mean i've had finals again where i was up three love and i lost four three this final now i was up three love and that's after, I mean, Mark Phillips, the defending champion, mm -hmm. won in 2023. Three, yeah. Came back storming three all. I mean, I mean, his back was against the wall, and then he just went all in. The momentum shifted, and in that last set, I mean, I, I think I used experience, and I mean, it was close. I won 11 9, but it was a tough final. And I said, lifting my fifth championships. And yes. It's, in my five finals winning, I've defeated five different opponents. Yes. Five different national champions when you look at it. Yes. So, I mean, I've had a lot of battles with different people, but one thing, to, to win, you have to beat me. 
<laughs> yeah. So if you win, you have to come through the king, and the king is back, baby. Yes. So it was good. It was good. It was good. It was I, good. I, I thought even your semi-final match was 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 also an interesting yeah, match. It was down to up, love. up against um young, young Brian, Brian Blake, yeah. and the crowd got into it, you know, yeah. because it was a drama-filled um yeah. co competition, yeah. you know. You know, I mean, both the was so long. Yes. He eventually, going to turn the villain. You know? Exactly. These youngsters exactly. Rallied together, and yeah. I mean, I. I I wasn't crowd favorite. I'm used to being crowd favorite. Yeah. Even the finals, I don't think I was crowd favorite. Yes, because uh, yes, yes, I mean, it's not actually. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, the, the, the story has shifted where I'm not the crowd favorite anymore. I still have my fans. Of course. Still have my key yeah, supporters. Man. Yeah, but man. I mean, I can say this: with or without your respect, I am a champion. Yes. And yes. now I'm a five-time champion. So, is there love it? Yeah. I'm and, and, again. And now, I had a list out a couple months ago of my ton, my top. 10 oh. greatest table tennis player in Jamaica of all, of all time. No, I had a list a uh, couple of months ago. No, my list will be revised now, oh, you, sure. you know, because it, it will be revised um, each year. Mm -hmm. And now with, a, with an accomplishment like this, mm -hmm. and, and plus your prior achievements, you know, even you're telling the people that you went to nine straight finals, mm -hmm. you know, and, and as I said before, both you and Simon tied on five and five championship in the, in the modern era. I think that's the most. Yeah. You know, that's the most since 1980, 1970, probably, yeah, from 1970 know, to now. Stats, from 1970 to now, it's, 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 it's the most. So I you know you have a lot of champions, yes. a lot of no, but champions. It's not just that. Going to nine finals yeah. consecutively uh, for come from 2011 to 2024, yeah. you know, it says something. So yeah. I'll have my list out. I know a lot of people are going to be upset with this new <laughs> list, but, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's the real list. But uh, <laughs> I said... Um, yes. Not too long ago, some people might not rate my game. Some mm -hmm. people might, but I mean, at the end of the day, I just bring it. Yes, I mean, I have yes. my own style. I play yes, my own yes. thing. I mean, what do you think? No, we're not moving on yet, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. do you think, you know? Hey, yeah, man. I, I, I like table tennis and I play table tennis and I always try to get better. And one thing, we love to compete. Of and course. I said, each championship has a different merit, of a, has a different story. As you noted to my semi-final, hats off to young Brian Blake, Blake who yeah, man. came with a game plan, and I, I don't know if it was his coaching or his yeah. style of play, but he, I would say he forced me to, yeah, man. to, to, to come transform, see, so to yeah, say. Yeah, come and see you start, make some noise yeah, in the, in the, in the uh, fifth yeah. set. Can you start out quiet? And start then out quiet. <laughs> in, my, in my elder days, I'm, I'm more quiet. When I was yeah. younger, I used to make, make all the noise. Yeah. Run around now, yeah. I'm more <laughs> elder statesman, the youngest veteran. So, I mean... Hats off to him, but I mean, I I used a lot of experience, and mm -hmm. to me that match was another tough match, the semis and the finals. And I say in the past, I've had semifinals where I've dominated versus yeah. finals where I've dominated. I, I think this was a toughest semifinals over for maybe over the past maybe seven years. I think this match was the toughest, not in terms of quality, but just in terms of what yeah, was happening. Yeah, yeah. I think this semi, that semifinals match was the toughest I've seen. Yeah. You had to come in, coming back from two love down. Yeah. I don't remember you down in no semi final match down two love. The Maybe first, Karim Flowers. Karim Flowers, the first yeah, one. 2011. 2011. Yes. I was down two love in the semi finals. Yes, Karim. Yeah. yeah I, I was thinking about that match. I was like, hey. And Karim was a youngster coming up there as well. I was younger yeah. than me and I was more experienced. And he was out two love and then I had to transform again. Yeah. I had to, I had to dig yeah. deep and, you know. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've tested battles over over my career. So which one, which one you think is the toughest one in in your mind? In terms of what, winning or losing? No, just winning, no winning. winning. From from yeah, from twenty eleven. Which is the toughest out of the five? I mean, which one would be the toughest one? Winning. Oh, looking back, and all of them. The, you mean the finals or the overall? It's overall. Yeah, win five. Which one mm. was? Which one was the which toughest? One the toughest. Well, some people say it's this one. Um, I don't know if it's this one. I mean, I've won. I remember the scores: four, two, four, love, four, one. Even the overall journey four, to the one, finals and winning. Four, the toughest one. Mm. Wow. I mean, I'd probably say the first one. I was about to taste. I so think it's the first one too. Oh, it's the first. One. Yeah, because you, you had a you had a track record of, of losing right yeah. at the semis or the finals. Even so, I remember over... tournaments before that where I would beat Peter and lose to Gavin in the finals. For yes. Example. And then I'd beat Gavin and lose to Peter in the finals. Yeah. So I was in that finals. I was like, 
to get over that hump and well, like well, oh, yes, questioning yeah, myself. Yeah, you've been, been, you been to many finals, even before 2011, regular tournaments, yeah. you've been to many finals. So that was your breakout year in terms uh, yeah. of winning the first yeah. men's, men's, men's not, men, not, not men's nationals, mm. you know. Just a men's, men's single tournament. tournament. Yeah. That was your first year. Yeah, I remember beating, I think it was Philip Jones up by Who passed Who passed Yeah, that was my first. That was your first, first type of tournament. And getting the monkey that, off your back and yeah, then you start winning. Yeah, and then yeah. after I won that first nationals, I mean, nobody could eat food. And nobody. I dominated mm. for like three, four years. I said nobody. And funny <laughs> enough, people, I, I will tell you this. From you were about 15 or 16 years old, you've been going to the finals, you know. Yes, yes. And just yes. couldn't, and just, just couldn't, couldn't get that number, yeah. that first, yeah. that I first said, one. That helped with, you know, yeah, testing yeah. back his experience. I said, I'm trying to beat Dibs, <laughs> trying to beat Peter, trying yeah. to beat Gavin, trying to beat you. I yeah, remember yeah. losing to a finals. Yeah, man, you lose a couple to me, man. Don't uh, worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I used to, <laughs> yeah. I remember beating you in the semis and losing in the finals. Yes. And then the next tournament, I'm meeting the finals. I'm like, ah. Oh, I won't beat you, and then you beat me. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was saying, like, oh, what is what is different? And after getting that first one, I mean, I, I as another place, I turned A plus 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 plus. I'm yeah. only an A player. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that, I think the first one, and I mean, yeah, I'm beating two time champion at the time, Peter Moyang. I mean, jumping out to the tree of it, him rallying back. I mean, seeing that look at him. You couldn't get that one point, eh? Yeah, I was like, oh, oh come on. And then I was like, oh, I want that one. But my most memorable one though yeah. was 2013. Yes. Everything that happened in my life during that time and mm -hmm. the tournament and I mean not the tournament not playing in 2012. Return of Dibs trying to get back his title. Even, even he he was telling me before the finals that hey, let's see who the real champion is, because the last time I played I was a champion. Yeah. And I was like, always last time talking. I played I was a champion. Always you know, talking. Yeah, mind yeah, man. games, mind games. But what he did know, it wasn't baby king at the time <laughs> it was big daddy king yeah so, <laughs> so that but so that final to me was most popular. and to me he was probably he's probably one of my greatest rivals although he's my teammate i mean mm -hmm. we all we traveled and played together but i mean when we battled together he's probably one of my greatest rivals i mean my record against him was abysmal yeah. i mean he was just beating me in tournaments i'd probably beat him in probably club league or something like that. But yeah in tournaments I mean, I don't know, but again, that finals, again, I get that monkey on my back and that finals was one way street. So that was probably my most memorable. But each one has its merit. And this one mm. to me, again, will definitely last in my mind as, as one of the top matches and one of my top, tough battles. Yeah, man. Mm. I, I thought the Nationals also, even just from looking at the youngsters and everybody it was a, it was a good tournament um, i think it's the best in years yeah. in maybe decades mm -hmm. that we had such a, a, good, a good turnout, turnout yeah. in terms of in participation and even people even the crowd you know we, we had a, a decent crowd watching the finals and what a um, juniors turnout and, yeah, and i'm impressed with the quality of the juniors as well yes they have all improved mm -hmm. as you say young brian blake you know aziz want Johnson to watch played, uh, i played as he's done around 16. yeah although i want three love I mean, it wasn't as easy as, as yeah, some people yeah. thought it was. As yeah. Some of the sets were eight all, nine all, and again, uh, pull off the experience. And yeah. For them, they would get experience from this now, and then yeah. in the future, they can look back and be like, yeah, that's a confidence. I remember young G Marco, G can't leave out G yeah, Marco, yeah. beating um, two national representatives. Yeah, 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 man, yeah, beating Mark Christopher Marsh. Marsh. Christopher Marsh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Turnout. You have Joel Lamb, yeah. White Art. Uh, yeah. Seven finals as well. Yes, yeah. yes. So. so we have two youngsters. In the semi-finals yeah and i can't tell the last one that really happened it's a long time as long in, time as in young says as in under their both yeah, 16, under, 16, 16 years under 17, yes yeah. yes so so mm. a few it's it's, it, it's looking looking promising and and, and on the female yeah. side yes so white we have a new national in, champion they thrown in st louis yeah. you know four straight in the finals mm. um i saw we, we, we saw it coming mm. she looked year, hungry she looked yeah, hungry yeah, this year she been Dominating the field. Yes. Yeah, winning yes. most of our matches, if not all. Even in the league matches, the she, league she's match. totally dominating everybody. Mm. So, mm. yeah, we well, have to congrat Kiara White. She's, a, she's, a, she's what, 14, 15? Yeah. And she has the right initials, KW. I mean, <laughs> I mean with that initials, I mean, both yes. KW as one. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. overall, people, it was, a, it was a good, it was a good national championship for 2024. And um, we're, look, we're looking for bigger and better things for the remaining of the year. Without a doubt, we'll be putting on two more tournaments before we close off the year. 
two more major tournament we we, we, say, we should say. So um, it's looking bright. It's yeah. looking bright. And the king is back. And the king is back. Oh, yeah. He's the return, the, of the return of the king. And I know Peter. Peter won't shy away because we, we have two more tournaments coming up, and uh, I know Peter wants some form of revenge. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be there waiting. That's all I can say. Yeah, you'll be waiting, I'll right? I'll be there waiting. Bring it. Because I know one thing we have our battles here. Yeah. Uh, we will play often. And one thing I can say, him keep me on my toes. Yes, man. Yes. Keep me so, yeah. me winning this is due to playing with him so exactly. often and him keeping me on my toes. Yeah. You know. Whether I'm serving legal or not, yeah. I'm I want to do okay, you <laughs> know. You, 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 yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably owe this one to Peter. Keep because if it wasn't for Peter, who would you be playing against yeah, every Peter, day? Peter, Peter, <laughs> yeah, when him, yeah. when him winning and you know, him get that look and be like, is there anyone else? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it's friendly rivalry, but yeah. once you go out there and we're competing, we that's with us. The competitive edge always competing, and I said, from here on out, we, we want to get better, push of each course. other. I said the youngsters, I mean, I'm all welcome for them to beat me. Mm -hmm. And that would mean they would have to raise their level and yeah. that would be almost spell good for Jamaica. And yeah, so it's going in the right direction. Definitely going in the right direction. Right, so congrats again. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, and man. I want to see you revise this when you do it, because I was huh? I was hurt to be left off the list, but I mean, as I said, <laughs> no, the, the old lad that I get the to list, realize people, that people people list will be out, I mean, it, will, it will be made public. The you know, I get sometimes I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I, what I do to people. I guess yeah. sometimes they, they hate winners because I hear yeah. people rambling about well, probably why should I rank, be, be ranked number one or I'm not on this list or yeah. Kane is not a big player. I'm like, what did I do to you? Yeah. What, what did I do to you? All I did, I, I want to win and I play. And I'm, well, you, make, you, make, you, you make your racket to the talking, so I don't always, think there's, there, 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 there's nothing more to say yeah. about that. And feel free to come and play me. I, I, I don't hide. <laughs> so I'm just saying. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So... We're moving on to track yeah. and field. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a, a big meet going on in Brussels again. I that know you the, have... Yeah, because, I mean, it's coming to the end of the track season. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, after Olympics, you know, you have a couple of meets and we see where winners, some winners still compete, some take a backbench approach. But, I mean, competing and getting out there will only help for the future. And, again, we have to start up with Jamaicans. And we see where in this Diamond League, young Akeem Blake, to me, getting these string of runs, victories, finishing third place. He won yesterday, running 993 and getting this Diamond League final win. But even so competing on the circuit, mm. I think that this will only help him for the future. And I would implore athletes to do the same. I mean, you have to go out there and compete. Get big races on their belt. You can't just wait till, all right, a World Championships or Olympics to come mm. and show up. I and mean, experience counts. And these races and these big meets will help. And I think Akeem Blake, one season injury free and keeps improving, mm. will be there and will get podium finishes. We all want the goal, but again, not every time we can get the goal. But we want the best for our athletes and we'll be like, all right. Because we're kind of spoiling you know, with the Bolt yeah. era. And we'll be like, of course. Right. course. Bolt dominated for so long. But if Akin Bay can, as I said, if you look at his contemporaries, well, not contemporaries, Jamaican mm. teammates like Kishane and Oblique mm. Civil, they don't compete much on the circuit. Yeah. And I, I would want them. Not only for us as the fans to see them compete, but I think it will help them. Of course. More match ready, more race sharp, more race ready, and can only make them get better. Yeah. How to dip at the line, how yeah, to man. close at a race, how to run a full hundred. Learn how to run. How to run the run rounds. The, yeah, yeah. You yeah. run against yeah. your opponents, you'll be like, all right. If Akin Blake now is seeing that he's beating Christian Cullen and Fred Curley, even though it's at the end of the season, he will get confidence from these runs. Mm. And again, with confidence, you have a big, a bigger, a better, a runner. Yeah. So I want to start off there where we see our athletes, I mean, some of them, and it's not only Jamaicans, it's athletes all over the world. Some of them are uh, seasoned. Uh, one athlete, you know, I'd, I would see that don't really do it, and it's Sydney, but she's a beast. She's an alien. Yeah. Sydney McCacken is something that, I mean, is she's boat like. Yeah. She's, she's messy yeah, like. She's, yeah, she's different. You name it. Yeah, she's, she's different. She's different. She's different. But with for athletes coming up, and she, I mean, she, she, she has a string of victories, so she fear her and, track record is, is different. And, and you remember, she's experienced you know, because Very she's on the collegiate circuit yeah. and she's been running. Yeah, yeah she, she's experienced. But I do agree with you. I think Kishin and um, Oblique. And, and Oblique mm -hmm. I think that's, that's going to be the downfall for them if they mm -hmm. keep, keep up with this trend and pattern. You mm -hmm. know, not running enough races, even before the, a major championship. Mm -hmm. How can you not run? 
Run uh, races. And I said it know? doesn't even have to be before. It can be after. So yeah, yeah. Argue, you know, with ease off when you're injured or feeling yeah. like that. Yeah, of course. You can train, 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 but you have to compete. You have to compete. You have to compete. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think my chair running, running, running in a straight yeah. line and it, it, no, it's still it, no, it's 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 still have energy beside yeah, you. It's still have rivals, so you have to learn the, the mental you, aspect of it, about okay. to manage the anxiety and certain other things that you that, it comes that down don't to come up. A couple of shows ago where we had Dr. Scott Hamilton on the show, sports psychology. Mm. Sports, eh, no matter what sport it is, you have to be mentally strong, yeah. mentally prepared, mentally ready. Yeah. And you yeah. have to oh, you do that, because even look at TV things. We play table tennis. Although mm. we know we're full on sports, we play table tennis, I said, to the a uh, decent level. But when we train hard and we play tournament, it's no matter how fit you are in yeah. training, when it comes to tournament, you play those rounds, you, you, you want to teach yourself, oh, you're so tired. Yeah. And you go back to train the next day, a couple of days, and be like, you're fully fit. Yeah. Oh, sh- sh- sh. So you have to go out there and play competitions and play more tournaments. And that's why we want more tournaments in Jamaica as well. That yeah. will increase the level. But in every sport, you have to have a simulation whereby you compete and yeah. have tournaments. You don't have to necessarily be the biggest tournament as in mm. Olympics. Olympics can't keep every month, yeah, every yeah. year. But you have Diamond League for that. You have World Championships, you have, you have Grand local Prix, you have meets, regular you have Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all comers meet up at the stadium, go around. Of we course. have to wait for the National Championships this year and Olympics and then for the rest of the year, we're not too soon. Yeah. One and two years. Yeah. Nah. Well, the greatest, the, the greatest athlete of all time, well, one of, um, is you in bold and if you notice you saying as you said always, athlete not track athlete, athlete in every sport yeah, yeah okay he's the greatest track athlete. yeah 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 <laughs> so so bold when you look at um the history of bold before olympics and world championship he's always competing yeah. on yeah. the circuit every single yeah. time he's always competing three, four, it never seemed dodge and never mm-hmm. seemed even mm-hmm. when, when in the twilight mm-hmm. of his career he was still competing mm-hmm. before the championships yeah. So that's a blueprint. So yeah. I, I I hope that I hope that Mills and and Frano with with, with Kishane and mm-hmm. Oblique kind of change what they've been doing because obviously well Kishane did well but mm-hmm. I, as you say you still need that but experience of competing. Look at Akira Newman after yeah. the Olympics. I'm sure next year she's going into these meet a different beast. Of course, of course. Different of beast. Course. These string of victories and with her confidence and the time she's running. I mean, once she stays healthy, going yeah. to be a world beater. I mean, mm-hmm. when, you, when you touch on Bolt a while ago, what I remember most about Bolt, remember when Bolt ran that race in New York? Yeah, man. The 972. After, after that race in New York, you know, everybody knows to them. Dad. <laughs> when Bolt yeah. ran that race, you know, Olympics yeah. done, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> when he ran that race and showed the world, so, oh. I think Tyson Gay pulled up after that, you know, Tyson Gay got injured, little after that. Right when, after. He ran, when he won that race in New York, you know. Yeah, man. Everybody's saying, wow. Different cut. And you know what it do too? Statement. It forced the other runners to overtrain, you know. Yeah. Put pressure on them in training, you know. Mental. Yes, man. Mental it put pressure. Push. You in training, you're thinking about, no, my boat. Boat run 19 to Yeah. You yeah. Man, just lay down yeah. the guard. Start right? press. You start press I'm more. Yeah. So, as yeah. I said, younger King Blake now, putting the world on watch, winning a Diamond League race, getting some string of runs in third, winning, beating Fred Curley, beating, beating notable runners. Yeah. Whereby, look at Marcel Jacobs after winning the Olympics. This year. Yeah. You can't really come back up. You have to yeah. compete. You have to compete. You have, you have to, to compete. compete. Yeah. What do you think about... The, the, you mentioned her name before, but we have to talk a little bit about, uh, more about Sydney. Oh, my McLaren. gosh. What are your thoughts on this young lady, boy? I'm wondering I, if she can run 100 um, under 11 seconds. Not under 11. I she w- can. I wonder if she can run under 10 eight. That's, that's, that's my I'm thought. No, what she can do... I'm, I'm, I'm watching and I wonder if she's going to be the next global track star as fe- as for mm. female, you mm. know, overall. I think she already is, but I mean, she have to put herself more there, you know, a marketing team, you know, that face well. She, running she, the 200 today. She's running the 200, she pre- right? Yeah, she has a pretty face. Yeah, well, so. exactly, exactly. But, I mean, what she does on the track is remarkable. Or what she can do, she ran 49.11 yesterday. Yeah. In a 400. Flat. Which, in a 400 flat, which, I mean... I'm sure she's supposed, she's supposed to run a 200 today. I'm waiting to see her time. We know it's going to be a good time, but if she trains her event and, and puts her mind to the event, she is an elite athlete. I think she should, I think for the next, next two, for the next, leading up to the next Olympics, maybe she should mm-hmm. step down. Let's mm-hmm. make it a little bit more interesting. I think Sharika, I, I think, she, yeah, man, I think mm-hmm. Sharika yeah. and she, they can put on a good show, you know, can draw, you know, because exam. Sydney, Sydney looked like she's just as talented as Sharika. Because I think Sharika can carried four. One two, one, two, one, two, four. four. I mean, she's she has done top 
tier times in, in the 400. Team. Yeah, I think she's top 10 in no, she's definitely top 10 in, in the one and the two. Yeah, top, top five in both. Yeah, for example, top 10 in one and two. And in the 400, she is she's done sub 50. So yeah, for that record, I mean, for bring some vibes to the to and the, on the mere side, Curly has done it. Curly has run sub 10, yeah, sub 20, and sub 44. Yeah, Curly's top 10 in all three, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we have special athletes out there that I mean, one set Curly has won world championships, Curly has medal mm. in mm. all these games. So, yeah, with, for, with on the female side, no, with Sherika Jackson, we know is elite, and Sydney, no, I said, the four of those. I want to see she do the flat four complete, maybe the two hundred. So, I mean, yeah. Sydney. I think um, it will add a little bit more excitement. She just break the four hundred meter record again, four hundred meter hurdles record again, mm -hmm. and just and just switch it up now and just go to the yeah, same yeah. yeah. But but Peter says not four hurdles anyway, right? No. No, I think Peter got that from me. Like, <laughs> we, are, we are Peter both agree. Right, Peter? That's yeah, Peter? Yeah, yeah. So, so the hurdles don't really, yeah, it's like, not really an obstacle yeah, for, for like the female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a hassle. <laughs> she's walking, she, she walking over the hurdles. <laughs> but she's a supreme athlete. Of course, Another man. Another Jamaican one to be up yesterday was Tajay Gale. Yeah. I mean, he's. The return, finally. I mean, winning, a beating a credible field as well. Mm. The Olympic champion was in the field, finished third. I think he jumped 828, was it? Yeah. 820, a good jump. Yeah, man. I mean, we were wondering when to touch it again. He's going to return, you know, More from that broken leg, right? He had a broken leg. I don't even not sure why he I had. Think, yeah, but he had some, he had an injury um, a yeah. couple of years back. But we all, the focus is all on Kerry McLeod and Wayne Pino. Yeah. We did that jump squad, but we're always saying that Tessie Gilly is yeah, man, he's like proven he, yeah, man, world he's champion already. Yeah. yeah. Good to see him get this victory you now and that will mean immense pressure off the shoulder whereby now his can, confidence can, yeah. can can get back to where it was because you can see him where he probably you know there's probably like self do now there you know not getting those quality jumps in as he used to and we always know him everything him so for him now to get his victory again hats off to him and next year i got hot i mean i think jamaica Kerry mcleod wayne pinnock Taji Gale. yeah i mean if all of them are not given on that good day we can't finish one, two, three. Yeah. Kind of cheer them superb. Quality, quality, quality jumpers. We have, I see us, we have quality in long jump, we have quality in hurdles. hurdles. 100 hurdles female, 110 hurdles male. It's just to get everybody healthy right on the mix. Mm. I mean, I say Akira Nugent, but we have Daniel Williams, we have, I mean, Brittany Anderson was injured earlier in the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was the national record all before. She's coming back running some. Minor meets, but she 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 definitely a top tier hurdle athlete. But I mean, Paris was a disappointing Olympics for us. Mm. Not much medals as we hoped. I mean, we got some surprise medals in the field. I mean, we don't know. We see our Regina Campbell last week break the shot put record. I could big him up again because I said we missed out last week and there were meets last week. This week is the last meet in Brussels, but. Check on for your season winding down. I mean, we had highs, we had lows, but we will take it all into consideration. We want to wish all of them good health. I mean, get that small window rest. Cause you know, check on for people don't really rest that much. You know? Yeah, cause them start back in October. Them start back right away. So yeah, probably November, have a October, too. background. Yeah. That's how I even saw I was on the road last night and I see a couple of youngsters in, in, in in the club and a couple like, youngsters yeah. from from the from, not from youngsters when we say youngsters remember some i'm a yeah. better oh, oh yeah oh yeah couple, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Them, oh, yeah. Oh, 21 <laughs> 22 uh, i'm not calling yeah, him yeah. Say, you know they, i like to see them unwind a bit and then disappear and just fix things oh, yeah, man. and then next year get things you done. know you have for relaxing you, know, you, you can't you can't so tense right through yeah. you know you have yeah. to have that little pee right away just chill you know yeah. the half season coming up so i want to wish them uh, the Rest, best. speed recovery, who injured, and look forward next, to next year. Next year, World Championship is next, in which country? I know it's in late, I think in September. Double check that for me, Frag, and see which. And mm -hmm. next year, you know, the Diamond League winner for next year gets a bye to the World Championship. Oh. They're, they're implementing that. Oh, so the Diamond League actually going to finish the before league, the... Yeah, the oh, okay, league yeah, make okay. this, this year, Diamond League did not look coordinated with the rest of the world no. program, yeah. I must admit. So I think it, maybe it, they're trying it, to do something different. It, 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 if you understand the science of peaking and peak performance, mm -hmm. the Diamond League made no sense to me this year. Just yeah. letting you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I, and you know, I approach things scientifically. Yeah. I don't just approach yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. Yeah. you I, don't I, think you're a jujitsu specialist. It's science going on. It's science, it's science. <laughs> There's a the electrical of... field and everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, people don't know you're a scientist, but people, yeah. people, I mean, we reach midway point and it's time 
for sports commentary with the controversial boss himself. Greetings, gentlemen, and to one of the gentlemen at the table, congratulations. Yeah. Winning another national championship is no mean feat for Mr. Kane Watson. Um, the conditions, you know, I don't want to talk about the conditions and I might say excuses and all that, but it's the most difficult. I've played table tennis at that national stadium from in the late 70s, and it is the most difficult condition to play with the prevailing winds. Table tennis is supposed to be played under still conditions. Gentlemen, flat table, still conditions. And people say I'm spoiled because I, I, I demand perfect conditions. But I've been on the national team with Dale Parham and seen the problem with the lights and Dale looking up in the sky after everything and say, I'll never play under these conditions again. <laughs> these things affect table tennis. Yeah. Table tennis, is a, it takes a strong mind to come through these things. Especially somebody like me who don't tolerate nonsense. I'd rather leave one national championships that I didn't win, one of the ones that I didn't win. I was there and there was somebody running a tournament and they played in the dark. They wouldn't put on the lights. It was at GC Foster College. And I, I took my bag and said, if we don't turn on the light, I'm leaving. And I left that championship. Only to hear that next day, KNR Simon won the tournament. <laughs> but there's no asterisk. Nobody put the asterisk <laughs> that I didn't play. You remember that tournament, yeah, Kane? Yeah. I left because I was upset. I think that table tennis demands higher standards. And anybody sitting around this table that doesn't adhere to the standards of providing proper conditions as sportsmen to play, I condemn you because <laughs> you need to provide a good condition for me to play TT. I yeah. saw Kane Watson struggling against a player, a, a, a young boy, just blocking, 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 and hoping Kane would miss. And Kane was missing. And it was, the, it was a low standard for me, you know? And until Jamaica starts to get higher standards, I think that table tennis, man will win like a local thing, you know? A man will say, I have five Curry God titles. <laughs> but I didn't mean yours. Enough. But the point I'm making is, we need, we need better tables, gentlemen. We need still conditions. We need good lighting to play table tennis. People who want to see what the real game looks like can come up to Sharks and see the battles that take place. He ain't win the majority of them, but they are battles, they are high quality games, right? And, and it is disappointing to see that the J, the, sorry, the people in charge need to pro provide better conditions. Sorry, I'm gonna get back to my, my rant. Akeem Blake come first in golden thing. I don't give that much credence. Yeah, I mean, 10 big man run and, and only one of them get under 10 seconds. Come on, this is not a breakthrough moment. <laughs> this is an end of season, um, a, a kind of a soldier crab Still a kind of win. race. It's a good win for yeah. Akeem and good for development. But don't come brag, push out your chest at 10.9 something. I mean, I, I, I mean, if back in the day, I could probably go close to that time. And to see a 10.9 Peter. 9.9. Maybe that's why I'm making myself. Yeah, anyway, um, so, um, the power of purple. I just wanted to say something. Many years ago, I watched Kane Watson playing against um, one of his many finals against Simon Tomlinson. And Kane Watson was dominating and was wearing, there's a reason why we're all wearing purple today. <laughs> and he was dominating Simon Tomlinson. And, 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 and at three love up, Kane Watson went and changed his shirt from purple to pink. And, <laughs> and um, attendant to that, at the same time, the man level drop. And Simon come right back. I don't even remember if you win the match. I lost the and I went to Kane. I said, Kane, you know, when you took off that shirt, you became a different man. Yeah. And so, you know, something about that purple. He's, he's actually KC's most eminent table tennis player. And he plays best in that color. I, in fact, yeah. in the, I, I saw the, the shirt. I saw him reach for the shirt. Down too low. Yeah, the other day I played him in a particular shirt, you know, and he didn't do so well. <laughs> but that shirt have a number on it. We're going to talk about it another time. <laughs> So Steve McLaren, who is in charge of the national team, um, had his two matches, his debut match and his, um, what do you call the other one? Um, um, his, his second match. Yeah. And um, it was, to me, not a very distinguished performance. I don't think that Steve, Steve is going down the same route as the previous coach, um, he, he uh, as Hal Grimson. And Neil Hall with a 10-man Cuba. You know, that's, that's really poor. Cuba is like a hundred and odd places below us. In fact, if they had more nations playing Cuba, it would probably be 200 places below us. If, if they could only get Coney Island and Ferry Island to play as teams. And yet Jamaica struggled against Cuba. And I said to Mr. Kane Watson, who is on my left here, that we only seem to be able to score penalties and own goals. Yeah. Well, next time we played Nicaragua, 
A week ago, we played Nicaragua. Was it Nicaragua or Honduras? We, Honduras. We played Honduras. Honduras. I'm yeah. sorry. In the Nations League. And we beat them 2-1. Congratulations, Steve McLaren, but, Ma, Ma, McLaren. But it really is a shame that one of the goals was our own goal from the other team. And the second one was, you guessed it, was a penalty. You mean to say we can't find somebody to score goals in Jamaica? My goodness. I don't have a, I'm not very optimistic about um about thing about um football. I'm not very optimistic about women's table tennis either. Because I, I see the organizer, Mr. Dale Parham, um, patting himself on the back for record entries. But what he's not telling you is that they had 75 men and only six or seven women played the turn. 12, 12. 12. Okay, 12. Oh, this, 12. This 12 women played the turn. 14. You know what did you remind me of? Have you ever been to a dance at JDF? Is it same 200 men and six <laughs> women turning up? One big fighting. They call, what they call it a sausage fest. One big bag of man fighting over the few little women that come. That's what the table tennis looks like. And the JTT needs to do more to interest more women to play. When I was in the game very actively, more women would come as spectators because I was playing. Yeah, yeah. But I really feel that we need to do more to get people in the game. People used to come to the game to watch me and Dibs play because we're both two very sexy looking men. Yeah. And they would come to watch the game. But we'd, when, when it was left to Kane and so on, yeah. we were two crafty men. <laughs> there was less attendance. But um, I'm going to be too much short. muscle. <laughs> so, yeah, too much muscle going on. Um, in table tennis, uh, there's a pro tour going on in Macau, and it, it's a great TT has been playing, good level, even though it's post-Olympic and people not as, as sharp as they are. But the two finalists are two surprise finalists. There's a Chinese, Lin Shidong, best backhand in the world, fast little kid, maybe a little fat, and he's playing against Dang Chu, a Chinese playing for Germany. And the final is going to be very interesting because Dang Chu is playing well above his level, in my opinion. And um, I think Lin Shidong should take it easy, but this tournament has been full of upsets. We saw a little youth from Taiwan named Kao beat Truls Morgard. And, and so it's full of upsets, but um, watch it. Tonight, there's a UFC tonight with Sugar Shane O'Malley defending his bantamweight title against our, 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 our one of these Dagestan Russians named uh, Devalish or something like that. And um, I'm going to make a prediction. Now, as you know, I'm on a 100% win record. People who have put their money, um, especially when the odds are against, tend to make a lot of money. I'm not telling you to sell the house, but um, I'm, I'm defending a, a record of, of, of pride. And so I believe that Shane Marley, as good a hitter as he is, great timing, good hitting technique. I don't think his takedown defense is good enough to face a real, genuine Dagestan wrestler. And therefore, I predict against the odds. I'm not like Keith Garvey predict for the odds, you know. I am predicting against the odds that Sugar Shane will not defend tonight. I believe he will be choked out in round three or four. Rear naked choke or the Kamura. I haven't made up my mind yet. But you, remember, people, you're listening to the UFC computer telling you how the fight is going to go. So let's see if I'll be crowing next week. Now, um, just a couple of things. There's a video going viral with um, Miami Dolphins uh, running back, Tyreek Hill, um, arrested, stopped while driving in traffic by the police for mere moving violation. And if you watch the hostility that those police officers um, put on such a distinguished athlete as Tyreek Hill, you can imagine that happening to a Usain Bolt. Policeman putting them knee in your back and, and hog tying you. And, and, and with such an attitude, beating the glass, put on the window, come out of the car, boy, et cetera, et cetera. It's a shame. I think the US, the United States can do better to treat black people with more civility because black lives matter. And, and, and you know, it is a shame. I worry for myself and I'm not 100% black, but you know, I relate to the it's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, will I will take the title. Thank you, kid. Yeah. But what I see the man them do with thing, they only can do better than that, man. It, I've really felt bad. It's affected me all week. The way they bring down the man. And I think that Tyreek should sue the Florida people, not just for himself, but for the rest of us. Yeah. We need the US police to get back seen. They're saying they're doing it for their safety. What safety? Only in a safe conditions, you don't know, the man. 10 to 1, you're armed. And you pull the man out of him car because There's the man no is driving. Trip. What was it? A Ferrari? Yeah. The man driving Lambo. a Ferrari. A Lambo. A Lambo. Yeah. Tell the truth, man. It's true the man that driving the Lambo. Sometimes no people trip. just bad mind when people have things. Mm. <laughs> the president of Venezuela have a plane. 
I mean here the US seized the man plane in the Dominican Republic because they've said that the plane wasn't bought properly and all that. Oh my God, man. Load the man with him plane, the man. All the man slippers in the plane, the man bathrobe in the plane, and the USA take the plane. I think it's a little bit spiteful. I think that the man is a president and you and him have issues. Take the issues to the United Nations. But don't take the man plane, man. Badness. Yeah. We want the Venezuela president to have his plane, and we want Mr. Leach to have his boat. <laughs> they, they didn't take his boat, I'm just saying. Um, and the last thing now, is that um, the second to last thing? Um, vibes cartel voice is improving. I've been watching closely, and 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 you know, at first I didn't think he would make the show, but the other day I see the man in Panama, and the man says, So I may say, up to the time, yeah. cartel, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Once you hear the aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, cartel yeah. is coming back. So I think the show is looking good, yeah. and I'm, 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 we've been pulling for cartel, yeah, and, yeah, 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 and and um. <laughs> You know, be a bee. <laughs> you know, um, but one more thing. Who watch the debate? Did you guys know that the, a lot of the Haitians are eating dogs and cats in Ohio? President Trump said, so it must be true. Um, you know, and, and, and so when Trump said things and you jump at it, like some of us around the table, it, it, it goes to show you that sometimes these things, people say things and it's not really factual. And finally, to my brother, big brother Joel, get well soon. Man in the hospital now, have a real challenge. We're pulling for you, we're at Primal. We need you in the place, so brethren, get, get well soon. That's sports commentary. What say you? Okay, Peter, you never tell about that last one. Yeah. yeah. So, you don't know Joel, we know you soon. Back up on yeah. the men and with us again. You know, a master producer there, but get well soon. Man, behind the scenes, you know, I make everything work. Definitely. Synchronize all the programs and everything. Pr yeah. pr pr one of the definitely the primal, primal boss. boss. Yeah, primal he is boss. a primal boss. Yeah, yeah. There's a controversy about that. Boss, he's a primal, primal boss. boss. Yeah, yeah two man. bosses in him own right. Yeah, so get well get soon. Well soon. But yeah, I mean, Peter touched on a lot of things, yeah. but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. we're not going to you know, touch I, into I, the cartel and yeah. look at the shirt because we see the boss drop on YouTube. But yeah, Freedom Street. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, where to start? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I want to touch on the, the tire kill a bit because we're going to have Froggy in five in a few seconds. Well, a few minutes, mm. I should say, because we have a one hour show. But all the tire kill situation to me, it is definitely sickening to see yeah. that something like that can take place in that manner, whereby, I mean, clearly abuse of power and yeah. nothing comes out of it. Because even so, I'm, I was thinking if it was someone else, what would have happened if it wasn't Tyreek Hill? All right, here, here, what, here, here, one of the, the reason why a lot of it that might just go to the wayside. Mm -hmm. Originally, Tyreek should have rolled down the window. Yeah. So, so that is what they're going to use okay. as as one of the. But does that warrant what came after? No, no, it doesn't warrant it. But they're going to say, boy, the police was um, put his life in in, in danger. You know, they don't know what him have. In the car, you know, but could none, none of them, a, a mental none of them pull a weapon, though. No, if they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. a police, the first thing you go and do, if you feel like you're in danger, they're gonna pull, they're gonna, gonna pull, pull they're gonna weapon. pull. So they, they can use, and so that's new, why Terry had who, to come out and kind of apologize as well. But they know who he was, yeah. or who he is. They know him. I think uh, they just want to make an example. Yeah, yeah probably. If we possibly. can do this to a major superstar. Yeah. Is that Hispanic? Black, is that Hispanic yeah, police, by the way? Superstar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black superstar. If we can do this to him, people, people. Mm -hmm. I mean, check it. But I mean, all of them black and the superstars. Yeah. So I'm just saying, if they can do this, they're showing up the word or even said the public in America that if I can do this to him, yeah, you make well, sure so you don't think you can even, yeah, attempt, yeah, because yeah. we will rub you out. Exactly, and and because I mean, Michael, and, this is man. And Tyreek, Tyreek, no, no, the the, the history mm. and what what it has is, been taking place, mm. what, what what take place in the past, and so even him, him kind of acknowledge that. But he put, put himself, he put himself in in yeah. harm's way. Sometimes by, I have to do that one. by not rolling down the window when the yeah. police asked you to roll it down. The guy was knocking the window too hard, I mean, 
Yeah, yeah. But when you when you, when, you, when you watch a video, the, the officer did ask before him not the window to roll the window down, and then he started to knock it hard yeah. and roll the window down. So that's why Tariq had to come out and apologize to him. Apologize for for yeah. for not for not um Comply for, with complying with the, with the officer initially. Mm. But what happened after that is also a big issue yeah. because that was. That There's was no abuse threat. of power. Yeah. That was abuse of, without a doubt, that yeah. was abuse of power. Because in the, the, it, one of the police, kneeling in him back, right? I'm putting my hand on his neck. Yeah. I'm putting yeah. my hand on his neck yeah. and already in him handcuffs. I'm like, now the policeman was behaving as if he, he, he was in a chase. You know, that's yeah. how they behave when they chase and catch you, you know, yeah. because they're vexed, you know. Yeah. So he was behaving as if. So obviously, there's some form Ready of racial kind of. I know who we are. Exactly, exactly. I'll tell you, a point to in. prove. A point to prove. And Peter hit the nail on the head, you know. Let me tell you something, a lot of these policemen, you know, they're not getting certain salaries. Yeah. You know? And when them see a little uh, I'm driving a, a Lambo man. and a black and, man and, I drive a Lambo. No, hold on, hold on. Peter, you know, I, don't, I, don't like the, I don't like the racial thing, you know, yeah. but you, you probably have a point, mm -hmm. right? You do have a point. So them going to take it out. Them, them upset too, you know, mm -hmm. so them don't them not make that money. Make there, it you know? worse. And don't have you that same type of attitude too. Ah, of course the policeman upset. I tell you, just saying, you know, just give him a ticket when we go about my business. Yeah. I'm a girl in the corner. I yeah. have a match. I mean, exactly. just, just give him a ticket. I can pay for my ticket. Yeah. A million times over. Yeah. I'm rich. Basically, that gets, that gets basically that's the attitude I'm giving. Just him give him more. a ticket. <laughs> just give him a ticket. Yeah, man. That's all. Just give him a ticket. Yeah. Oh, I'm speeding? Give him my ticket. I don't yeah. have my seatbelt. Give him my ticket. Yeah. I mean, I'm on my phone. Give him my ticket. You yeah. can't lock me up for those offenses. Yeah. Just give him my ticket. I ain't even no talking with you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, who you talk to? Exactly. <laughs> uh, you feel the fear say, you can't talk to me, sir. Yeah. And I'm me at the law. Well, yeah. you ticket. Come yeah. out to the car. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take you to the car. I'm going to show the world, say, oh, in the business, who you be? They're going to handcuff you. And that deal point like to one. prove, yeah, man. Deal. No, I saw it. it was, no it, Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was, it was brutal. Give me my ticket. That's all I managed to give me my ticket. And then the knee in the back. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's about, it's about, how many of them frag? About six, seven of them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah on the outside. Yeah, they, 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 they pull up on the scene. They pull up on the scene and them teammates, and them, put them, them teammates in handcuff. Yeah, the teammates are handcuffed. Yeah, them teammates get handcuffed too. One guy. We have one guy got on. one one of his team has got handcuffed, but I'm just saying they're doing this to prove to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. man saying, no, give me my ticket. I can't pay for my ticket. I mean, if you want me to pay for five more so tickets, can I'll imagine pay for... if it's an ordinary person, if black want... man driving the uh, Lambo, right? right? That's what you're saying. If you if you take home a car, guess what? I'm gonna get the next car. I'm gonna get a newer <laughs> car. And that's the problem. That's the problem they're probably having with you. Yeah, but yeah. But even yeah. so, even if Tyreek Hill run, there's ways to go about it. Yeah, that's it's, and it's... there's no reason for you to deal with him in that man. The man is not a criminal. Yeah. The man and, and, is a... And, 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 and I didn't think him curse at the yeah. officer either. He never man, really... Man he just had him... Yeah, I and didn't. people out there doing way worse wrongs and you turn a blind eye. Yeah, but yeah. But it's peaceful. The police escalate. That's the truth. And the police yeah. knew that the this tar man is, is Tyreek Hill. Star running back for the Miami Dolphins. Wide receiver, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I imagine if it was a regular black man. What if it was me? What if it was me? Well, first things first, I wouldn't wind up my, my window still. <laughs> I'm just saying, people keep safe. Yeah, yeah man, keep yeah, safe in the street. Some people have power and they abuse it. And I mean, this is not a knock on our policies because I don't know police is a necessity. We have good of policies, course. our friends mm -hmm. that are policies. Mm -hmm. I mean, our family that are policies. But I'm just saying, things like this, we can't just accept it. And they have to be held accountable for their actions, true, true, just true. like any other human being. Yeah, I think they will and be I mean, penalized quietly. So, I don't so think again, it will be public. This but, is not a knock on all mm. police. And we say, no, when I like police or that, I like police. But police is there to keep the society in check. But with incidents like this, and we have seen it happen in the past, this is unacceptable. Yeah. And, and I mean, as I said, if I'm driving in America, me and being a black man, and wasn't and the even police pulled me over, you know? he wasn't resisting at, at no point, you know? I'm winding down all four windows. I'm turning on the roof light. I'm flying my trunk. But I'm just saying, <laughs> why should it too. lead to all of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, a regular stop. Are you, the thing is, the law is you're not supposed to do this, but yet still you do. You pull me out of my car. Put my face down. Is that legal? But I mean, the realistic was right outside <coughs> of the stadium. Right, right around the corner. Right, the stadium right literally around the corner. But I mean, all right, frogging five. Um, uh.
Go ahead, Frankie. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Your time some take football that so, um, tomorrow, In the next couple of days, we have one of the biggest footballing scandal trials about to take place. Okay, now, if, for those who don't know and those who know, Man City versus the Premier League. 115 charges against Man City for breaches between 20... 2009 up to 2018. And this case has been building for the past six years. So you know it's not no joke case. You know, from 2018, they might build this case, it's not a joke case. So right now I just want to find out from my co-host. What do you think? Will Man City get half of this one? Because I don't see how is it that they can have 115 charges and you don't and lose salary related charges? Everything. Player salary. Salary under the, the, the books, playing players under the books, playing managers under the books. We put, just to give a rundown, they have 54 accounts that fail to provide accurate financial information between mm. 09 season and 017. 14 charges have failed to provide accurate details for player and manager payments between 09 and 07, 018. Five counts a failure to comply with UEFA rules, financial play, fair play rules. Then they have seven codes of breaching Premier League's rules. Then they have 35 codes of failure to cooperate with Premier League investigators. So it's, a, it's, a, it's all come down to one thing. It's just the financials. They, 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 they yeah, not, because, not yeah, the, okay. Okay. yeah. Okay. So it's basically you not paying players properly or you are basically paying players Reporting that they're paying them ten dollars, they're paying them twenty. Really did 20. Okay. So this is a big problem. It's a big, it's a big, it's a yeah. big, big thing. A big it's case. 115 charges, and I don't see how they're not going to lose some it's, points. It's really one charge that that really uh, accumulates one fee. You know, it ends up losing the law really But it's one over. Issue. It's over years. Yeah, yeah, over time. So I don't mm. see how they're not going to lose one of those trophies. How they're not going? They think them should lose a trophy. Why not? not? If you are, if Why not just penalize them financially in, in, instead of losing all of that. If you're stripping, go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead go, if go. you're stripping Olympic medalists from their gold medals, but for what? For drugs? For drugs. I think it's this is a different case. Still, though. it's still a breach. It's still a rules. Rules are rules, I, you know. I, I, I agree, but I, rules I, I are think rules. You, sh you can penalize them, but you can't. Mm. What if penalizing means points deduction? And you losing the points. Financially. You're penal no, you're po financially. Yeah. 115 right. charges. It's really one charge, Frank. It's really one, is one thing. Them Over years. Really. Yeah, it's really one thing. So you're going to take up money every year? Uh, well, I, I guess you got to penalize them heavily, but I, I don't see how. Do what this comes out to What are you trying to say? The, pay, the overpay the player for the player, to, the player to stay there instead of putting it on the books. So that those players and probably then, would have left, uh, would have leave, and they probably and the would have lost is, the title because when they, they are doing that, now you have to. There's a thing called player sustainability and profit, profit sustainability. Oh, second, so. hello, good afternoon, welcome to Primal Sports. Primal, Primal, Primal. it's vital. Speak up for the cell. How are you doing today? Doing good. Mm -hmm. Doing great, actually. Yeah, definitely, of course. <laughs> Mr. Blake. Mr. Blake. Grandfather. Yeah, the godfather. God, godfather. The godfather. godfather. Yeah, man. Anyway, I just want to give you a key. Um, lifestyle. Otherwise, I'm a lifestyle. Yeah. The Gerber man. performance in the Nationals. Yeah, yeah. I know this person is in the final. Yeah. After being treated up. Ah, man. As he was gasping for compression. I'll tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> he took it home and that's good. Yeah. And he came back out of retirement and, 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 and won his fifth title. So that's why I'm big up here and, and continue to work hard. And he needs, he needs to lose that in 2034 to get back around the table for that. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I definitely agree with you. And thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I know you're on my team, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Respect. All right. So, my basic question is so big up yourself and I'm this, yeah? All right. Respect. All right. Respect, right. Paco. What I'm saying is that you are basically reporting that you have X amount of money when you basically have more. 
So what, what, what do you think would be the proper sanction for this? Points deduction. Well, points deduction. Other, points deduction, yeah, because other clubs have been deducted points for the like same things. Juventus has been docked points, been sent to Serie B. Yeah, I mean, points I mean, deduction in, for, for this for season. The, Whichever season, Whichever you, season you, you choose to implement. Yeah, not the past season. The season coming up. Seeing that season probably starts already probably next season. Okay. You know? But even so, I've seen instances where, as I said, other clubs have been... I've been the last points. I mean, sent to the lower division. But I mean, most of the time... But I had like a lot of points from... That but we point see what the judges decide in six judge. days' time. Yeah, but but I don't, I don't, he I don't can't strip the titles. He can't strip it. I said to strip it. Because if that gave you an... So you have a problem with Pep, right? Pep, yeah, Pep took over in 2016. No, so I don't have a problem with, <laughs> with, with, with Pep, you know. But Pep, it, it just you tarnishes his... Yeah, no, it tarnishes... Yeah, 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 no, yeah. but it tarnishes their little... Whatever they were trying to do. I don't think so. Of course. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. If, if what and they the did... performance different? If what they did gave them an unfair advantage throughout the seasons between 09 and 018, mm. and it gave them a couple titles well... No, a lot of why not? Mm. Why not sanction them? Why not take it back? No, no, no. Why well, might I, know? No, no, no. I think I think regardless of what happened, they would have still won. And it, no, you know, it's, the strip you have a title because, so, because, because same because thing. Like so why not? No, I, I, I if you are bad in a player, you if title. you are bad in a player for, so for betting, for betting, and you are bad in a player for six. Worst thing, for worst thing I think can happen to them is send them to lower division. Let, championship. Let them, yeah, Frank, Let me ask you something. Oh, the championship is the biggest. Can I Let me ask you something. Um, don't you field. think? Don't you think other clubs do this behind the scenes? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but who is caught? If you if Frage, for, if Frage, for lower clubs, it's just like Carlos and Benjan. Frage, come <laughs> so on. So you're saying if on. you go back in the history books and find some clause in, say, for our, instance, our, Man U ninety nine trouble winning team. Yeah. You think they should take away the trouble from Man U? If they breach. Anything. I think you would mash up sports. I think they, they, you're, going down, you're going down. This the, already the wrong a mash of sports. No, you're going down the wrong lane, Frank. I think every team. I know for a fact that every team does the same so thing. That why would you off. not? Why would you not? Why would you strip? For example, okay, so you <gasps> it's there, like Why a, would you strip? It's like a, title? a bonus game. It's like mm. giving no. a bonus. You know? Why would you strip a title from you there? I agree and not with you. to City. And it's mm -hmm. the same thing. You don't want Why would you deduct 15 points from Everton where that had two charges and you take away 15 points from them in one season? And you don't want to do it to them? To Man City? Mm -hmm. This come like 115 points about, supposed to be deducted. You know they will be regular. In six days' time? To Monday. Monday, yeah. Monday is a chance. So next week we'll have a, a juicy topic to talk yeah, about to yeah, see yeah, yeah, what yeah. really transpires in this. But to, before we wrap up the show, I want to hear your take on Steve McLaren because I know me and you were in the stadium for Cuba. I know me and you both watch Honduras much. Well, watch it separately, but I mean, I want to um, hear what you have to say about the regular boys. Well, pretty much same old, same old. Same team, different coach, same strategy. Five playing with five defenders is not good for me, especially in the Cuba game. Um, Cuba down to 10 men. You have a complete, you have a full 45 minutes to play. You don't need a, defen a defensive midfielder at that mm -hmm. point. Throw an attacker, you pull out a winger and you put in a second striker. Where do you fit the Maragher in that system? I mean, I mean, Alistair he's, gonna go diamond. But even so, is his first match trying to get first match? But I mean, the keeper for Cuba made some. Even, and even there's no excuse to draw with Cuba. No the, the keeper was great, especially with Cuba down the ten minutes. And, and Cuba isn't. I wouldn't say isn't that good. Cuba isn't good. Cuba, <laughs> Cuba ain't on our level. <laughs> but in that's football. the thing. I see persons coming out saying, "In football, home. we are better than Cuba. Yeah. Even at home, with the quality players that we have." And from the match that I watch, Kevin there's no be excuse. Cuba. But yet still, Steve McLaren is new, trying to figure it out. Mm. But you think are we headed down the same part? It looks that way, but yet still, again, a lot of negatives. Any what? positives you see? Positive? No, I don't see no positives. No positives. No positives. You know why? Even winning win in Honduras? Even 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 no, winning Honduras no, against no, the Tesla USD? No, no positives. But I give Peter. We can't seem to score. Own goal and penalties. Even we in can't the seem to string up some passes, get the ball in the back of the net, run, we, run over these sides, three love, four love, that we definitely have the quality of the You league. know, the hypocritical thing about it, in Cuba game, people are praising, oh, Jamaica pass on the ball, 80% possession, blah, 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 blah. And I'm saying, what are they going to do? They have to do that. Half of the time, half of that position was spent where? You know, our own half, defensive third. Honduras game, Honduras kill us with possession. All right, that was the international window. I will draw Nila with Cuba, the one Honduras two, and the next international window will be in the stadium Monday, October 14th, 8 p.m. 
against Honduras. Oh, yes, again. And then so, Nicaragua, I mean, though. people were looking forward to that. And again, we'll critique that. But next week, we round up the football. Yeah. I mean, we touch on the track and field. Like, yeah. yeah. And I the mean, trials. I mean, the trials. Jamaica Premier League mm. is kicking off tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. So, next week, we have, a, we have a lot to talk about. But today, we'll wrap up the show. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, let's thank our listeners and viewers as again, usual. I mean, again, you know, the staples, the guys yeah. who, the people who always tune in to us. This week, 39,000 strong. Yes. 39,000 yeah. strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I want to thank you again. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And to tune in and listen to us talk about sports and give us our knowledge. And again, next week, we'll encourage more callings. Yes, yes. Us, yes. Um, for the past Boy, and shows please, people people from the West, man. Yeah, from Trelawney yeah. down here, 96.7, man. <laughs> Call in, man. <laughs> I know it can be intimidating, but come on, man. We're also welcome. I think it's a controversy, boss. Yeah, yeah, the first controversy, boss. They love to listen to you, but yeah, they know I'm calling and say, um, oh, are you really say, a jujitsu uh, specialist? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, again, yeah. next week we're looking forward to your viewership, and again, feel free to call in. While we're a call in segment, we like to hear your views because yeah. again, we can even be corrected here in studio. And yeah. We like to hear your, your opinion, and again, we bring it to you here from the Prime Sports List. Man, so Fit FM 96.7, Facebook, YouTube, the Primal 4K app. All right, we are out, Primal Sports. Have a good afternoon. Again, from the Primal team, Joel, get better soon. And one yeah. love from the Primal Sports. Peace. Peace.